one of the characters that's to me up. Yeah, oh, a sure. notch, maybe sure. two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, significantly, Urian. Not, I'm not feeling it yet. Like I feel like he's pretty much the same guy. I, I just feel like without the potential for the the big V trigger cancel blow ups, he just looks like such a normal dude now. Like I, I feel like he's not terrifying anymore. Like during before was always to me like so scary, and now he's just like, eh, he's got some stuff. Yeah, Seems I, like I, weirdly I honest. Solid. Yeah. I think, I think he's a solid character. I agree. Yeah, he's certainly not terrible. Uh, and yeah, sticking with the V trigger. Still, still has good buttons, still has good mix-ups. For sure. Um, good mobility, good pressure. Invincible option, even though it's slow. You know, he's got stuff. Yeah. Colleen, I'm not sure about. Uh, oh. Oh boy. This V trigger too, I think, is a big terror from her. Wow. No, oh, Dora. What do you now with that big chance? Okay, fires it off right in front. Oh, the patient's not uh, long enough. A little shimmy. Not enough patience. Round two. But I, I do like some of Colleen's tools in this matchup. I think that she handles that sort of ground range in front of Urian well because she has the threat of B skill. Uh, even though it's not safe in the same way that it was, he still has to think about that. Oh, and that's, sure. that, that's a range that he would like to control. And at least, or at least not to be not to be challenged at, because yeah. there's not that many characters that I think are that effective from this range in Street Fighter Five, and I think Colleen is one of them. Uh, and so I feel like Urian doesn't usually have to take that kind of abuse, but maybe does from uh, this season's point. And of course, Robert's right. still pretty safe. You know, he's not going in very hard right now. But he doesn't need to, right? Well, I mean, this yeah, round maybe. Back. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. He needs to turn a little bit on, but I think he was pretty happy with the way round one went. Ah, big chance to start. See what he gets here on the reset. Yo, oh, tricky. didn't even need it, but it's still combos. Needs more work. Yeah. Knocking on the door of Dizzy. Doesn't want to let her out yet. Yeah, you can see him really trying to pressure there. Still, still trying it. to get in there. At this point, it's for the round, not just Dizzy. Oh! Yeah. Doesn't let it go. Who are you? Not quite able to close it out. Game one. Quite a big call on the counter. But if that Obura. counter had been like a second later, uh, not even. Half yeah. a second later to counter the knees? Come on. God bless. Come on. Like, I mean, uh, the counters for this character, that's why I'm happy to see, I think, Colleen coming up. Some of her OP set play, not super exciting to me, but those counters, such a such an exciting call out. Like, I always get hyped when those come down. Definitely. And we're going to have more chances to see that. Urian, not the most predictable in terms of pressure. Has a lot of options to sort of control his timings a little bit, so a counter I wouldn't think would be uh, super effective, but it's certainly against the knees that should work. Right, yeah, yeah. Once you see it coming, it's yeah, coming. Yeah, that's totally reactable. Oh, super jump right out. Here comes the V trigger. Ah, knees just right behind. Just the X to escape. Well, Udio now has the corner. Can make things happen. Yes! Oh, counter! Big counter. Woo. Oh, make it happen. Yes, confirm. Winning from the range where Colleen wants to be at. Really, oh. you can't argue with that. Like, that's... You look puzzled. Well, I, I yeah, I felt that uh, Uryu may be looking for the knees, but instead it seemed like he was looking for a grounded approach with the button he hit right there. It was not an anti-air tool. No, not at all. Oh, I like that. He was out of range. Yeah. That would have been a nice call out on the shoulder. All of a sudden, some good movement out of Uryu now. Okay, throw loops. Yes, damage. And the setup. Yep, there it is. Ah, confirmed. Dogar is so good with that. Has his own super, so he's quite dangerous. Yeah, the charge fierce in the shoulder has been pretty consistent from him. I really have liked Uryu to see that call out. He backdashed to position himself properly, but wasn't able to do it. Now has the slide in effect and the extended range on the V-Trigger normals. Yeah, the mobility, the, the range. I think she's so dangerous. But this. very passive. He's looking for something here. Yeah, and I mean... Well, it's a chance now for Dober as a result. And that may be it. Ooh. No oh, nerf no. set. Bounced the wrong way. As a result, Uryu now with trigger still. still super. And he's clearly looking for something. And Dober not giving it to him. And before we saw the EX shoulder tackle come out, of course, you don't have to worry about it with Yurian. You've got a, sort of a fired into the... And now it's running out. Oh, okay, yeah, no. he had to go in. He would... Yeah. You're right, there was just too much passivity. He was hanging out at that range. He it had seemed like it was a clear idea of what he was going to do. I feel like, so 